happy. So it's up to the live studio audience to see if for the first time ever, the lake detective can finally be stumped. And I see in preparation for the grilling that you have gotten out your almost your school-like notebook paper <laughs> and, your, uh, and your pen, because he likes to jot down little cues that he hears in the question. But if you want to take a chance, a shot at stumping the lake detective, this is your chance. Actually, Joe, they're not so much clues as they have person's name, so right. I can remember. <laughs> right, person's name. So any, don't be shy. If you have a late question of any kind, the late detective can handle it. Uh, are we in good shape after this rain, or wasn't it enough? Well, you know what happened now? This rain has washed in an unbelievable amount of stuff okay. in the lakes. There's about a, a half dozen or more lakes right now that the beaches were closed this last week because of E. coli. Okay. What happened is there's some bacteria being deposited, you know, on up, upland areas, and that rain has washed a lot of that E. coli back. Those are indicator organisms right. for more potential problem bacteria. But at any rate, so it's had some good effects, and it's had some, you know, it's brought in some of that stuff as well. All right. Sir, would you uh, do you have a question for the lake detective? Yes, sir. And I you am. are. I am Smitty. Smitty? Yes. Go ahead, Smitty. Alrighty. I live in Intergrove Heights. I do a lot of kayaking. Uh, a lot of times I'm in the Minnesota or the Mississippi River. Is there any lakes out there that are not quite so algae-ish? Oh yeah, there are. This has been a big year for algae, as, as you know. But what's happened is there's been a natural experiment going on. So, if your lake is clear right now, it means that, one, because there hasn't been much runoff, that your lake's in pretty good shape. However, if you don't, if your lake has algae right now because there hasn't been much runoff coming in, that means you're getting a lot of internal phosphorus from from lake from internal sources. So here's what happens: there's there are some lakes up there that are clear. And in fact, I was on White Bear Lake yesterday. How's and that doing? Oh, it's still holding up. No, levels are down, but uh, the, the clarity is is really good. In fact. Some folks I talked to said it might be some of the best clarity they've seen in years. So lakes, some la there are the lakes that aren't impacted by what we call these internal sources. A lot of times too many carp or things like that. Those lakes are still clear. And so they're holding up in some cases. Very good. Thank you. Down, You're Thanks welcome, so. Schmitty. You realize, Lake Detective, we learned something yesterday? We are on the actual site right here of what used to be a lagoon, a lake, and there were boat rides in the early years of the no, fair. You could roll a boat around, it was a natural body of water. Well, we don't know why it's gone, but it's gone. Well, some of the early lake restoration projects were actually to restore, when they say restored lakes, right. we keep, the first immigrants that came over were draining a lot of shallow oh, lakes. Boy. And so our first restoration projects were just to restore, right. to restore a lake. Okay. But now, so that, that's probably what happened here. Sir, you are? Darren. Darren, uh, please address your question to the lake detective. He's never been stumped. LD, uh, my folks got a cabin on a lake in northern Wisconsin, about 60 acre seafish lake. Oh. And it's down about four to five feet right now. Uh, so the question is, is it going to take four to five feet of rain to get it back up, or is it going to take more? Does the lake, for every inch of rain that you get, does the lake go up one inch? Good question. That's a, that's a great, that's well, a great first question. First of all, what's a seepage lake? That is a spring-fed lake. Okay. So here's what here's so we got some clues here. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's not the name of the lake. It's not Lake Seepage. No, I know that'd be a bad lake name. Yeah. yeah. I got a place up yeah. on seepage. <laughs> that's better than bus. Yeah. <laughs> So a seepage lake means that it is groundwater fed, or springs. Springs and groundwater feeding are, are the same thing. So what happens is that because you're not getting a lot of rivers or streams running into it, it's going to have to refill or levels are going to have to come back up based on rainfall, but also with the water table comes up. So when the water table comes up, the lake comes up as well. So no, one inch of rain can actually give you more than one inch of lake you know, elevation because you'll get the the watershed effect and also the spring effects. So if we get a good winter and some snow, I mean, with this winter, that will be making it within a year or two. As you know, these lakes will go up or they'll go down, but they'll also come back up. So Are you worried about Lake Superior? I'm predicting it will come up someday. 
Oh yeah. Kind of like a Dave Dahl, uh, you know, snow that was, uh, that was almost a Denny Green like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir, you're next. You are? Uh, Lendl. Hello, Lendl. Uh, Lake Detective, I was just curious if you were concerned about the Salties uh, dumping bilge water in Duluth Harbor and whether we should be concerned about it. Well, that's, uh, that's probably a, a million dollar question, so to speak, because, yes, on average, these Great Lakes are getting about one new exotic species per month. And so they are have, there is an impact of the, and a lot of them are coming in with ballast water. And right now they're working on some ways to do it in an economical way. You don't hardly want to just treat the ballast water with a chemical because what kills the things in the ballast water, when you discharge that, could kill some things in Lake Superior. Okay. So what I've seen is some pretty nice filtration systems that are being developed where you pump the water through a nice filter, discharge it, the bad stuff stays in the filter.